Uh, today we're doing a review on this Excel OBD2 scanner uh, with Bluetooth capabilities so you should be able to connect it to any Bluetooth laptop or you can also connect it to your Android phone utilizing the Torque app. The Torque app can be downloaded on your uh, uh, from your Google Play Store. It's free. It allows you to check codes, clear them, view past history in the codes, and uh, a lot of other neat things as well. So let's start with connecting the scanner. First, locate your OBD2 port on this IS300. It's right underneath the dash. Uh, once you plug it in, you should see the power light staying on. Now we need to go ahead and pair it to your phone. Number one, we need the Bluetooth to be on. Well, it is on right now, so that's good. Uh, next, we need to pair it. So we'll go ahead and go to settings. So, no, no, settings. And then we'll click on Bluetooth. And then we'll click on the OBD2 device. If the OBD2 device doesn't show on your phone, just go ahead and hit the scan button to allow you to search for it. And once you once your phone picks it up, you can just go ahead and pair it. It will ask you for a, a password, which is a general password, 1234. And now it's paired. So we can go to step two. Uh, step two here is going to be to go into your Torque app. Go ahead and click OK on all the terms, conditions. So the way the Torque app works is it allows you essentially to connect to your OBD2 reader and it allows you to read codes and all kinds of other neat things. So number one, we need to go ahead and turn on the ignition. So once the ignition is on, now the scanner and the phone should uh, go ahead and pair up. Uh, generally it takes anywhere from 30 seconds to a couple of minutes. Oh, that was pretty quick. Connected to ECU, everything is good. So now we'll go ahead and add a screen. So this app essentially works just like the, your home screen on your uh, phones. Uh, you can add screens uh, to the app by selecting settings add display and then you can add a an array of different displays on here um, you can do air fuel ratio uh, the most important one is the drive cycle status uh, which we already have downloaded it on here and oh, let's go back to the app go back and which is this one right here obviously it automatically went ahead and checked everything no misfires no nothing so everything is good now that it's paired, we'll go ahead and actually create a check engine light by removing the mass airflow sensor on this vehicle just to give you an idea of what you need to do. Okay, so we went ahead and disconnected the mass airflow sensor and uh, started up the vehicle just to get a check engine light to come on. So let me show you here. As you can see, the check engine light is on on the top right hand side. So now what we're going to do is show you how to look up that code and uh, also clear it. We'll go ahead and shut off the vehicle, turn the ignition back on, go back to the phone. Uh, I will scroll back to the main page here just to make sure that the ECU is connected because every time you shut off the vehicle it disconnects and uh, sometimes it takes a few seconds to reconnect. Now we can go back to this screen and go ahead to settings, let's take an action, let's uh, show logged faults. All right, so we have two faults. We'll just go ahead and click on one of them. Automatically tells you that it's a mass or volume airflow circuit. If you click on the web button, it'll actually take you onto Google and uh, give you a little bit more information about the code uh, to allow you to kind of um, get a better idea of what uh, the situation is. But for now, we already know what it is, so we'll just go ahead and close this out. And now we need to clear the code. We'll take another action. Clear logged faults, yes, okay, and now the code should be cleared. So let's see if that worked. We'll go ahead and start the car back up. And as you can see, the check engine light is clear. So that's basically the simple usage of this uh, basically throttle app with our Excel 
uh, OBD2 scanner. Uh, you can do actually a lot more features. There are a few on other it. cool features of this app uh, while working with our OBD2 uh, uh, scanner is allowing you to create different displays on the app itself. You can have different uh, gauges for speed, you can have it in kilometers or miles per hour, boost, throttle positioning. The car is actually running right now, as you can see, um, and automatically here everything responds with the vehicle based on the information that's being sent from the OBD2 reader. Um, let me show you how to create a display here. Uh, you can go ahead and click on the bottom button right here, add a display, and it gives you options. Do you want a dial, a graph? Uh, we'll go ahead and do a dial, and obviously it gives you options of what kind of information you want to be sent to this dial, if it's altitude, if it's uh, engine coolant temperature, um, what we'll do is we'll try engine RPM and we'll do a medium sized dial and as, as you can see here the revs changes with the car so it definitely has a lot of cool features I mean it's endless and this is a free app that you can download from your Google Play and it works definitely excellent with the Excel OBD2 Bluetooth scanner